So I'm very thankful for um, God kind of just allowing me. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah, y'all. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. God is so faithful. God is so good. And I have been really just just going through a lot of heavy processing um, with God. I feel like all last week and then over the weekend and um I like I think this week was the longest break I've really ever had in releasing videos right and there's so much going on there's so much spiritual activity right and so I was just now kind of just I I have had a very heavy day right of being with the Lord like I released that word earlier when I was driving and I really I uh, y'all like i'm really trying to get my bearings and just spit it out but it's been hard to release videos because every the anointing is so heavy and i feel like my my words and my message is not clear so like i had been recording but every time i just felt like yeah like that's that's not it and so i would delete it and so just now i was spending some time with the lord right and god is continuing to to Put the word remodeling in front of me right and listen if you are in the united states or maybe you've even watched it internationally right like there is a channel called hgtv right and th that ch if you're like me and maybe you you like have been a fan of like the remodeling shows or whatever right that show has done an uh, injustice to the work of remodeling right and god started to really talk to me about the work that he's doing and here is here is what was key for me because when I first started this channel and I was coming out of a really heavy time of being processed by the Lord and and really just being in the wilderness not being able to locate God dealing with a lot of stuff right God had me a lot in the Old Testament so in a lot of my earlier videos I talked a lot almost exclusively about the matriarchs of the Old Testament and this year like leading up into like april which is really when i got that revelation about the new god took me to the new testament and god had me in the new testament and so just now as god was talking to me and this is really really what i want to say because i feel like there are so many of you that are going to identify with this right like we are literally walking and i'm i'm not saying this for hype like i'm truly telling you the truth it's been difficult you guys for me to even come on here and release the weight of what God has been saying, but I'm telling you, there are those of us, right, that are literally walking into the biggest manifestation of the work of God in our lives, right? Like, we are literally walking in it, and I'm telling you, it has been a lot of processing. It has been a lot of tears. It has been a lot of of work to get to this point, and so as we are right here on this, on this, on a edge of this thing right one of the things i said in a video that i released when i was talking about massive breakthrough is to not look at it like it's warfare right yet i kind of felt like for myself i was really struggling not to right i was just really because it was really it was i was going through some painful processing these last few days and it was really difficult for me not to get bought into warfare i was really i was praying like it was warfare i was confessing like it was warfare and so just a few moments ago <clears throat> god said to me you know it really is just me it really is holy ghost fire it really is the processing that comes along with walking into this type of manifestation it is really the it's it's really me. It's really me. And I know that because it hurts so bad, because you feel so confused that it doesn't feel like it's me, it seems oxymoronic that it's me, but it's me. And this is what God said. And this is what blessed me. God said, but listen, listen, because I've said, I've told you guys before, I understand the mantle that's on my life. I understand that I'm a cave prophet. I understand that, you know, I am a deliverer of the masses, right? I understand that God doesn't have me deal a lot individually with people. Even though people would love to pull on me that way, right? I know what God has called me to. But what God said to me is, I know that it's, it's difficult. I know that because it hurts so much, 
that it has to feel like it's the enemy. I know that because it's so confusing, because you feel like you're doing what's right, but it's not giving that it has to be the enemy, right? God was saying to me, but that is why I had you in the Old Testament so long. Because I wanted you to see, guess what? It's hard work. It's hard work walking out what I have called you to. And I wanted you to see how the matriarchs in the Old Testament messed it up so many times because it's hard. That's why Moses messed it up. That's why Abraham messed it up. That's why David messed it up. Listen, I know we read those stories and and we we really it was really eye-opening for me during my wilderness season for God to deliberately show me how much they messed it up, right? Cuz when we talk about Abraham being our faith father, we don't talk about the fact that at, as he started on the journey and he gets to where it doesn't look right, that he lies and he says Sarai is his sister or that he had he had a kid with his maid or how David really like had issues himself and sometimes, you know, his issues with his flesh, even though he had a, a, a heart after God or so when God started to show me that it was it was it was not for me. I didn't feel disheartened. I didn't in any way take a, it did not take away from the monumental work that, that Moses and David and, and, you know, it, it didn't take away from the, the credibility and the power of their stories, right? What God was doing was saying, I just want to show you, I just want to, I want to show you the, I want to show you the truth. I want to show you how the process in men, right? Jesus had a flawless walk, right? Jesus knew no sin. Jesus was, and that is the covenant that we have that they didn't have. But yet, they still got it. They still got everything God called them to. They still walked in the fullness. I even had a moment where I was talking to God about something with Moses, and God, like, literally took me. I had I had believed something about Moses, and... I don't know if it was my belief that I had been preached just before, but God had to literally take me to the word to show me his promise to Moses personally versus what the children of Israel were supposed to walk in. Because I felt like Moses had gotten slighted by not being able to walk into the promised land. And so when God took me to, to the word and showed me, he was like, this, this is what me and Moses talked about, right? And so when God told me to come on here, and share this right and to continue to encourage y'all and to continue to to put words in front of you that will keep you sometimes i struggle with it because i'm like god i feel like they'll feel like i'm struggling right now or i'll feel like i'm just i'm not giving them what you know they want and so god said to me if you need it they need it if you need it they need it right and so that gave me a lot of peace and so I said, okay, God, I, I understand. I get it. And I want to come on here and I want to encourage y'all. Because when God told me that, right, I had been struggling with this thing like for days. Just the heaviness of this thing. And it was so oxymoronic because it is like it is like being excited about what I see happening. But the, the, the pain of the thing hurts. And so I'm kind of like, hurry up. Can we hurry it up? Like, I'm I'm excited for what you're doing, and I trust you, but this thing really hurts, God. I don't know why. I mean, and you guys, it's been a physical pain. It's been a mental pain. It's been an emotional pain. And I'll be transparent with you. It has been. It has been. And I've been like, God, like, you know, but there's also been this excitement. There's all. There's also been this 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 worship in the presence of God that's been so amazing so it's been such a a oxymoronic experience and it's been difficult for me to come on here and release a word as I've been like being processed myself right like as I have been being processed myself it's been difficult for me <clears throat> to make clear to you what God wanted to get across to you because I it's like I was stumbling through it myself and so um you know I just want to I just want to come on here and I just want to encourage those of you who like me 
may know without a shadow of a doubt that you are literally moments away from walking in the fullness, right? The unveiling of what God has been doing, right? I want to encourage you to know that first of all, it's not the enemy. It's not regression. It's not warfare. I know I keep saying it, but God told me if I need to hear it, you need to hear it. I know it, it's easy to slip into that mindset of, of you know, just, just wanting to fight this thing off and beat this thing off. But I'm telling you, this really is the refining fire of the Holy Ghost. This really is God purging us and purifying us of any and everything that would contaminate us in that place, right? When God promised the children of Israel the 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 promised land right the the biggest thing there that is never mentioned that god says to me that we only get a glimpse of is when um is rest is rest when god promised them right a land flowing with milk and honey right inevitably what he was promising them was rest right at when when the children of israel were slaves right they were slaves they all they did, they were oppressed by Pharaoh and, and the Egyptian army. So all they did was work, 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 work for the wealth of Egypt. And so when God promised them a land that had everything they needed, inevitably what God was promising them was rest. And we don't really ever see that said until we get to Second Chronicles 20 when um, King Jehoshaphat is praying to God because there is opposition coming. And he says to God, did you not promise my people rest here? Like, did you not promise my people rest here? And that's a beautiful thing because it, it it's it's just it's, it's a beautiful thing, right? So that's what God is doing in this thing. And I, I really hope I'm making sense, you guys. I'm sorry if I'm stumbling over my words, but in this thing that God is doing, in this thing that God is doing, inevitably. One of the things that God is saying is, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it's been a long time coming. I know it sucks. I know it hurts. I know you've been barely holding on. I know you've been praying. I know you want out just like Joseph. I know you want out. I know it seems like I've forgotten about you. I know it seems like you got a word six months ago, two years ago, six years ago, and you're still, but I'm telling you, inevitably inevitably that is the one thing God showed me right God said to me listen I didn't fail David I didn't fail Moses I didn't fail Joshua I didn't fail Joseph and I'm not gonna fail you I'm not gonna fail you listen and listen then walking out the will of God was hard too and I know it's hard for you but I'm not gonna fail you and you have the covenant of the finished work of Jesus Christ you have the covenant you have you have the redemptive work of Jesus Christ that that back up every single enemy that you have you don't have to be like david and go out here and actually come toe to toe face to face with the saul you don't have to be like moses and walk through a literal red sea even though it feels like that right we get to walk this thing out in a spiritual realm right like even if there are natural things that are happening right you don't have to you don't have to physically fight lack or physically fight cancer. I know sometimes it, it might seem almost easier to do that, but that's what God was saying to me. So I just, I hope this video makes sense. I want to encourage you. I want to tell you to keep holding on. I want to tell you that God is faithful. I want to tell you that God loves you. I want to tell you, listen, I've had moments where I've literally just wanted to like get under the covers like put my comforter over my head and just be quiet like I've had to I've had to have those moments right and the Holy Ghost has allowed me to have rest and then I'll get up and I'll pray and I'll worship and I'll just and the, the beauty of it is that nobody knows it's happening but me right I I had a moment this weekend where I was with my family because my little cousin was here from Germany I, I pro I'm probably repeating myself, but that's why I had to go back to, um, I had to go get my kids because they were there, right? Like all of, all of their little cousins were here. So, you know, that was a blessing, right? Because I got to come home and have, and, you know, be by myself overnight, which I think is probably the first time that's happened since the quarantine. Um, but then even amongst my family, right? As I'm feeling the weight and the heaviness, nobody knows it, but me, nobody it said, Hey, you, you look different. You, are you okay? Are you sad? That's the beauty of what God did, right? Nobody knows it, but me and him, right? My children don't say, Oh, you see you sad or, you know, no, nobody knows it. It's, it's, it's a very private processing, right? Like 
you guys wouldn't even know it except for the fact that I, I just wanted to tell you. Like, I just wanted to tell you. Um, and you know what? I really love the fact that, you know, there were more than a few of you that reached out like, hey, we haven't heard from you in a couple of days. Are you okay? So I'm very thankful, right? Um, I'm very thankful for those of you that continue to to be nourished here and to honor um, what God pours out to you through your seed, through your encouragement. I'm telling you, like, those comments, y'all comments give me life. Like, they really do. When you say that you're praying for me, like, I'm telling you, I literally could just crumble under the beauty of that. So, you know, I'm thankful because, again, the charge on my life is not just for me. It's for y'all. I have to make sure that y'all come out. Like, I'm. this is not going to be a church where I come out and y'all don't come out. And I want to let you know that I am hours, I feel like literally away from God manifesting something big in my life. And so, um, yeah, you know, this is not warfare. This is not warfare, you guys. We haven't missed the mark. We're okay. God is faithful. Do whatever you need to do to get through the birthing and the process of this moment. But I'm telling you, like, in just a second, we're going to have an unexpected end. Like, I'm telling you, in just a moment's time, we're going to have an unexpected end.